Justin Bieber to light up the CMAs live tonight. Britney Spears is refusing to perform after court drama and also drops new single. And Ticketmaster will require vaccine or negative COVID tests prior to concerts. These are your top stories for Wednesday, November 11th. There is a huge update in the Free Britney movement, and Jordan has more. Britney Spears' fight to free herself from her father continues. In a hearing on November 10th, a Los Angeles Superior Court declined to suspend James Spears from his central role in the court conservatorship that has controlled his daughter's life and career since 2008. Even after Brit's attorney said the pop star fears James and will not resume her career so long as he has power over it. The judge did say, however, she would consider future petitions for his suspension or outright removal. And in another interesting bit of Brit news, Urban Outfitters is releasing an exclusive vinyl of the musician's unreleased track, Swimming with the Stars. It's out today and they shared a snippet. Full performers and presenters for the 2020 Country Music Association Awards have been announced, and your screens are about to be lit up with some of the best in country music. Kelsey Ballerini will be performing her hit, Hole in the Bottle, and some pop stars will be taking the stage as well. Charlie Puth will be joining Gabby Barrett for I Hope, and Justin Bieber will be with Dan and Shay for 10,000 Hours. But I'm gonna try if it's 10,000 hours or the rest of my the show is hosted by Reba McIntyre and Darius Rucker, who will also perform, and takes place tonight, November 11th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on ABC. And is it time to go back to concerts? Ticketmaster is working on the safety requirements. On November 9th, pharmaceutical company Pfizer released early results on a COVID-19 vaccine, giving the concert industry much needed hope that business can resume in 2021. In preparation, Ticketmaster has been working on a framework for post-pandemic fan safety that uses smartphones to verify vaccination status or test results. If approved, here's how it would work. After purchasing a concert ticket, attendees would either need to show proof of vaccination or a negative test result approximately 24 to 72 hours prior to the event, depending on local government requirements. But once a fan's COVID-19 status is verified, Ticketmaster would issue credentials and the show would go on. That's going to do it for today. Running it down for you always, I'm Tetris Kelly for Billboard News.